Hello everyone. I hope you are doing well. Recently, I have received a quite a lot of emails from our community members uh, requesting for more videos about martial art demonstrations and applications. I'd like to take this opportunity to answer those emails now. Yes, I totally understand your point since many of you seem like my demonstration. However, like I have said before, I'm working on improving the overall understanding of the internal styles in the community. Well, it is very easy for me to shoot demonstration videos. I believe at this point in time, it's more important for people to develop theoretical and conceptual understanding. Demonstrations alone would lead to a hollow practice, in my opinion. Also, another goal behind this series is to serve as reference material for future generations. Hopefully, even after I'm long gone. So, I appreciate your suggestion and I'm glad that you like my demonstrations. But for now, I'd like to continue what I'm doing and hopefully in the future, people will have a better comprehension of the internal styles. Hopefully, this will let you see my demonstration videos in a whole new light. Today, I'd like to talk about an interesting topic. Jin. It is not easy to translate it to English. I think the closest English word for this term would be tautness, a physical state in martial art practice in which the body or movement is strong but not rigid. If you prefer to use the original Chinese term, it is Jin. The pronunciation is different from the Jin in Fa Jin. The pronunciation used in Fa Jin is in the fourth tone while the term Jin used today is pronounced in the third tone. It may sound strange to non-Chinese speakers, but anyway, I will provide English translation whenever necessary. Topics covered in today's video include first, Song and Jin, or relaxation and tautness. Second, importance of tautness. Third, key aspect of tautness. Fourth, demonstration. And fifth, takeaways. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Topic 1 Song and Jin. Or relaxation and tautness. Song and Jin, or relaxed and taut, is a pair of terms that are even very confusing in the martial art community in China. Many people falsely believe that Jin or taut equals to hard or rigid state. Or even worse, they think that consciously tense the muscle and make it very tight or stressed. That is Jin or taut which is totally wrong. Like I said in the beginning, it is not easy to find an English term that precisely has the same meaning of Jin in Mandarin. I think the word tautness can be a suitable one since it is used to describe a situation or a state of being. So, in the future, if you prefer, let's use the Chinese term Jin or English word taught equally. Based on my personal training and uh, researching experience, I believe that in martial art training, Jin or taught at a certain level is more important than the term Song or relaxed. But before we go any further into Jin or Tautiness, let's look at Song or relaxation first. We have all heard about song or relaxation in martial art practice. I'm sure all of you have heard this word hundreds of times when we practice martial arts. Your teacher must have emphasized this word a lot. 
and all of you must contribute many mistakes happened in martial art practice to not being able to relax. Is it true? Well, it is true, but only partially true. Even more, many martial arts got confused by this term Song. It seems that Song is the magic word that if you can relax yourself in practice, then you would reach a high level in training. Unfortunately, this is just wrong. Only focusing on relaxation will not take you too far in practice. The term used to describe the incorrect state of the song is a xie, or being careless, movement without intention and the target, or kind of laziness, or a body structure without the balance, and so on. So, in practice, being about to distinguish the differences between song and xie is important. Please keep in mind that I am not against the concept of relaxation and I talked about this in my prior videos as well. But you have to know how to take advantage of the benefits brought by relaxation. In other words, you need to know what you should focus on in training after being able to relax. So, let's review the concept of song or relaxation in martial art practice. In my prior video, titled Stan's Internal Style Concept, the link is in the description, I said that song is a balanced state of a body structure. Body is flexible, movement is smooth without blockage. Force can be transmitted to the body without the difficulty. You don't feel uncomfortable, you may even enter a detached mental state, in other words, of a state of emptiness, which is, in my opinion, the real song. It is a harmonious state between the body and the mind. So, it is song alone enough. Not at all. In addition to song, you also need dance. <laughs> that was uh, another Chinese Canadian dead joke. Anyway, time to get serious now. So, is song or relaxation sufficient in martial art practice? Not at all. You also need its counterpart, jin or tautiness. That brings us to the next topic. Topic 2. Importance of a tautiness. Simply speaking, relaxation without tautiness will not take you too far in training. Let me explain. Over decades of practice and teaching, I have concluded that there are two types of tautiness or jin. The first one is the conscious tautiness, and the the other one is the subconscious tautiness, which is an advanced level of practice. So, when you start to practice, you should first focus on relaxation in order to remove any stiffness. Stiffness is not tautiness. Stiffness is the condition of a muscular movements in which your mind cannot lead your body movement. Or the muscular force is blocked at a certain point even though the mind wants to reach a certain objective. In other words, there is a lack of coordination and alignment between the body and the mind. The disharmonious state between the physical movement and the mind is the root of the stiffness. Based on my research and the personal experience. Under the normal circumstances, our muscles cannot be classified as being stiff or flexible if we talk about the quality of our muscle itself. In martial art practice, especially the internal styles, the stiffness, according to my understanding and research, 
is a state in which the physical body is not in unison with the mind, or the mind cannot direct the body movement precisely and purposefully. So, one objective of martial training is to achieve mind-body harmony through practice. Some styles, such as the internal styles, especially Xing Yi and Tai Chi, emphasize the power of the mind. As a result, such harmony is comparatively easier to achieve through the practice of internal styles. Now that we talked about conscious tautiness, what is subconscious tautiness? Well, it is the situation that is built upon relaxation. Apt our mind and the physical movement can work together without making too much effort. That means that your body is able to relax, or your practice reach soon or martial relaxation level. Based on this step, any movements that needs tautiness is done subconsciously. I call this subconscious tautiness Zhen Jin or Real Jin. Again, the real tautiness is built upon relaxation. In other words, relaxation is the foundation of real or subconsciousness tautiness. Unfortunately, most practitioners just stop at the relaxation level, which is very unfortunate. Correct theory is necessary to correctly guide practice. This is exactly the motivation behind my video lecture series. Also, one of the differences between the conscious tautiness and the subconscious tautiness is that the former is based on muscle strength while the latter is achieved through structural change. The subconscious tautiness or Zhen Jin is about how to build the right martial structure in practice without focusing on muscular strength. Of course, easier said than done. Furthermore, subconscious tautiness is a prerequisite to achieving high quality Fa Jin skill. Subconscious tautiness of Zhen Jin is a higher level of harmony between the physical body and the mind. Without subconscious tautiness, you will never be able to issue high quality Fa Jin. To summarize, tautiness especially the subconscious tautiness, is the foundation of a martial power. Subconscious tautiness is the foundation of a Fa Jin execution. You will never be able to achieve a good self-defense skill level without focus on tautiness or Jin. Topic 3. Key Aspect of Tautiness if you recall my prior video in which I talked about a concept of Jin Zhong Qiu Song, or seek relaxation in tautiness. Let me share the background behind this concept. More than a decade ago, many practitioners, especially beginners and intermediate level practitioners, overemphasized the benefits of relaxation. Many of them even believe that holding a relaxed posture long enough without any physical movements would naturally generate martial power. Of course, it is understood to be false nowadays, but that was not the same case back then. In order to dispel this lie, I created the proverb Jin Zhong Qiu Song to describe the concept of seeking relaxation in tautiness. In the beginning, some people did not agree to it. But with time and explanation, I have near unanimous if not fully unanimous agreement on this topic. Now, let me share some of the key aspects of tautiness. I have created a few proverbs for this.
including but not limited to the following. First, 紧中求松, or seek relaxation in tautness, which has been explained already. Second, 有欲为始, 无欲为终, or conscious start toward subconscious goal, pay conscious attention in the beginning and eventually practice naturally and let the body subconsciously determine the level of tautness in practice. Third, 始在肌肉, 后在肩架, 终于无极, or first, muscular strength, next, structure, finally, emptiness. Again, emptiness here does not indicate nothingness. It is a high-level practice that the mind and the body are highly integrated together. Fourth, 松要云, 紧要旋, or evenness for relaxation, spiral motion for tautness. When talking about relaxation, the key aspect to, is to make sure that the force is evenly distributed throughout the body. The whole body should be treated as one. For tautness, the power should be generated through spiral motion, not through straight or linear movements, or else the power release would not be up to your expectations. Fifth, 松而不泄, 紧而不僵, or relaxation, not floppiness, tautness, not stiffness. Given what I explained so far in this video, that should be easy to understand. Today, I have only introduced five aspects. Of course, there are many more, I will talk about them in future videos. Topic 4 Demonstration Today, I'd like to demonstrate the Sun Tea Posture from Xing Yi. Instead of just standing there without any tautness, you should alternate between tautness and relaxation. Hello, I'd like to demonstrate the practice of jin or tautness and relaxation or song in the Xing Yi Santi stance. So, instead of just keep this stance and focus on nothing, so you should alternate your strength, so tightness, then relax, tightness. Then relax, tightness. Then relax. So alternate the level of the strength in, uh, intentionally, and with time you will see the difference of your practice. Topic five: Take aways. First, song or relaxation alone is not sufficient for developing martial power. You also need. Jin or tautness. Overemphasis on song or relaxation is the root cause behind many mistakes in practice. Second, tautness is important throughout the course of your practice. Focusing on tautness from the get go will enable you to take advantage of the benefit of relaxation. Three, we also looked at a few key aspects of tautness. I created five proverbs for easier understanding and memorization. Again, those are first, 紧中求松, seek relaxation in tautness. Second, 有欲为始, 无欲为终, conscious start toward subconscious goal. Third, 始在肌肉, 后在肩架, 终于无极, Muscular strength. Next, structure. Finally, emptiness. Fourth, song yao yun, jin yao xuan, or evenness for relaxation, spiral motion for tautness. Fifth, song er bu xie, jin er bu jiang, or relaxation, not floppiness, tautness, not stiffness. So, that ends today's video. Thank you for watching, see you next time, and do not forget the practice tartanese.